My name is Elsbeth Rockman. I'm from the ANC Free State Interim Provincial Committee. Yes, we do support the principles of the bill, but we do have concerns that we would also like to raise. The ANC has also always supported the proportional representativity of our electoral system. We take note of the Constitutional Court's decision to bring in independent candidates in the same way as they are able to contest municipal elections. It does not require us to redesign an electoral system. We do need to maintain the integrity of proportional representation. It is a system that lends itself much better to representation of women, youth, and other marginalized groups, and it gives voice to diverse opinions and even minority opinions in our society. Our concerns relate to the practical implementation to make provision for independent candidates. For example, we might end up having unwieldy, long, complicated ballot papers. And the only way we, we foresee that we are able to reduce the complexities of the ballot paper is to relook at the criteria that will qualify people to stand as independent candidates. We do, we do foresee that any independent candidate or new parties that have not held seats in prior elections should have demonstrable support that at least it will be a serious candidacy that could win a seat in a legislature. We would be proposing that such an independent candidate or new parties should indicate at least one-third of support based on the prior um, election if they have not held seats before. It will reduce the number of people that, that could be contesting. Another proposal that we would like the committee to consider is currently parties are required to pay deposits to contest in the national or provincial elections. The committee should be considering whether we maintain the same thresholds. If, for example, it's 200,000 to contest in the national election for a party, it should be